We're joined in the media center now by race winner Joseph Newgar. And it appears you've had a bath and changed clothes. Yeah, sorry. What happened? Oh yeah. Okay. So okay, apparently, sorry. I I was I think I was going to get sick if I stayed in that clothes. It was a little cold. Uh, race suits are not very good at. They're not very conducive to water. It's um. It was. It's like a sponge. It's really bad. It, it started to turn into a wetsuit I mean, in like five minutes. It started warming up, but it was just not a good situation. I had to get changed. So, no, was it? Peer pressure is a beautiful thing. You know, people chanting, getting. Get the, get the fountain, you know, and you just have to oblige, I guess. And swan dive, cannonball? No, it was a little short. It was only like a foot deep, so <laughs> not the nicest deck. But I suppose it was sweet nonetheless. I wanted to get on the line, and then I was told, don't do that. Otherwise, we'll get fined. Uh, so <laughs> I, I didn't want to get in trouble, but uh, hopefully that bottom portion was okay. So 12 race wins now in your career, second this season, first in Detroit. This probably is one of the stranger uh, victory celebrations. Maybe not. Uh, no, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, it was uh, you know it's great to, to to have a victory here. I think we've been strong here in the past. We've just not been able to you know fully get a win. I think 17 we were quite good here. We just kept starting too far back. Uh, last year we weren't very good though. We struggled last year with our cars, and I think we turned that around. We put a heck of a lot of emphasis on our street course cars. Uh, Team Chevy's done an amazing job making sure we have everything from the engine too. We really, you know, every year we circle this event. Uh, outside the 8500, you circle that, and we circle Detroit as a group. So we wanted to be better here. Um, I think as a team, we did that. We executed, we had the car. We had, you know, we definitely had the compliance, the speed from the car. I think Chevy gave us the power and the drivability. You know, today was a lot about drivability, especially in the wet, and, and we had all that that we needed. So uh, everyone did their part. I mean, it's a, it's a big thanks to the team. They, they just did an amazing job. Tim Sindrick made the, Call the race, in my opinion. You know, he's he got us to win again. Uh, we had to execute, obviously. You know, I think we were quick, but getting that call from Tim was was perfect when we had it. You're again the season points leader. Did you run out of fuel at the end? Was it close or was it? Um, I didn't. No, okay. no, it wasn't that close. I, I just it was a tight turn getting into the fountain. So then I I went to neutral and then it stalled. So okay. uh, yeah, or I stalled. Sorry. <laughs> Questions from me, Bruce. Talking about that pit call, uh, I mean, in a timed race, that call came right in the next time for you because as soon as you got in your pit box, Ed Jones was in the tire barrier and there's the yellow. So those are things you can never plan on. So just how perfectly did that all work out for you? Well, you know, when you, when you talk to Roger, he'll tell you you make your own luck. And, um, you know, it's, it is true. You got to, you got to, we were making that call regardless. You know, the yellow certainly helped us. Uh, we were sitting in a good position either way, and it would have been very fun, very difficult to uh, to win the race um, without the yellow, but but the yellow just fell perfectly right into our strategy. I, th I think when we pit, it was the right time to pit. You could tell the rain tires were starting to go off. The rears were overheating terribly just because it was getting dry. And uh, I, I could, you could see Rossi was struggling. Dixon and we were both catching him. Dixon actually looked quite good there for that part. But I think when we pitted was the right time, and then the yellow just helped us even further. So it's a great call. But how huge was it to be ahead of Rossi? Because once that happened, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think he was the guy to beat today. You know, he, he was very fast. He's been very fast all weekend. Um, you could see there in the end, we were, honestly, we were pushing flat out. Him and me at the very end. I, can, I can't believe it. I didn't pull nearly a 12 second gap to third place. So we were just completely on the button every lap <coughs> as fast as you could go. It was still damp out. It was not fully dry. Um, but we were as, going as hard as you could. I mean, I think we were pretty toe for toe there uh, for the most part. So, yes, to, to answer your question, having a track position was, was critical. The question coming from the far left What's this, just this whole experience like for you guys coming here to race in Detroit and just what do you like the most about coming here every year? Well, it's, a, it's really a great event. I, I just love getting the race. It's the only place we race on an island, which is quite cool. Um, it really has been neat to see the island, uh, you know, just to see it develop over since 2012. That was the first year I came here, and it's really developed every year. It's gotten better. You know, even even things such as the fountain have been, uh, you know, renovated and just made better now everyone jumps in. And, you know, just little things like that. It's really cool to see how far the island's come because of the, this event. Um, but I like it. You know, Detroit is, it's become a very fun destination for us. 
I think it's just the city itself has grown a lot. It, it's gone through a lot in the last you know 10 years, but it's certainly in a great place right now. It seems like so. We like coming here. It's just uh, it's tough physically. It's tough after Indianapolis. You know, I think even regardless if you win the race or not, I think everyone that's part of the IndyCar series we're all pretty fatigued after Indy. I know I feel the fatigue. You know, just um, it's just tough with with all the content that you go through every day there. So it's 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 almost like a, a fantasy when you're here. You know, you're like dreaming. Actually, Dave uh, Will's engineer was saying that he's like, "Is this real? Are we really here racing right now?" You know, just because you're in a daze after the 500. So. It, it goes pretty quick, but you need to make sure that you have a great weekend because it's so important from a point standpoint. So it's uh, it's weird to be here in one way, but it's also very important to make sure we, we have a good weekend. The question comes from the middle in the back. Uh, Joseph, what does it say about your engineer dynamic that with Gavin you've won the two different kind of street courses and considering your teammates have had kind of long-term driver <coughs> relationships, what makes you kind of gel with uh, new ones since you have a number? Well, I, I've said it before, but I get to work with the best people. You know, I, I always get good engineers. I've not had a bad one. Um, maybe none of them are bad. Maybe they're all good. But it, it's, you know, Gavin, he's a gem. He's really good at what he does. He's, uh, he's got a great head on his shoulders. And by, by that, I mean, like, he, the way he works is very team-oriented. He, he's such a team player. Uh, he's very positive, very optimistic. Um, which actually goes pretty well with me. I, I normally am very optimistic too. I always feel like every weekend we show up, we can win the race. And uh, I think that that combination together works really well. But he's also just very talented. He's a good engineer. He has a lot of experience from the F1 world. Uh, he's been in racing for many years and, and he's still quite young, but he's he's good at what he does. He's diligent, works hard. I think he, you know all the guys love him. I love him and he just he fits well. So it's, it's hard for it to not work well. Question on your left. How important is Tim Sindra to your overall strategy? Last year at Barber, he had that great call in the rain there towards the end. And again today, it might have been a little bit of luck, but how important is Tim to your success? Tim's critical. You know, I mean, he's, in my opinion, one of, if not the best strategist on pit lane. You know, I think Roger would tell you that too. He's probably the best guy you can have on your stand. So I feel lucky that he called my races. I think we've developed quite a good, uh, uh, relationship. You know, he's a boss, but at the same time, he's become a friend and, and uh, a great teammate to me. You know, he coaches me when I need it, and uh, just keeps me uh, keeps me going forward. And that's what you need from a strategist. They keep you going forward in the right direction. And uh, he's just very good. He's very good at what he does. It's uh, you can see it as oh, it's a lot of pressure with the team president. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I look at it that I got the best guy on my stand, and it makes me feel pretty confident on the race. Um, but he's done, yeah, he's done a great job. He had the chalice today. I don't know if anyone knows what the chalice is. Tim was handed the chalice of excellence before this race. And I like to think that's part of why he made that great call. And Lady Luck just fell right at the right time. So the chalice, great powers. No one knows about this look at the chalice of excellence. You'll find out. 15 hours till qualifying. Are you excited to get back and uh, get back and race again tomorrow? Yeah, I am. I think it's going to be a more straightforward day, weather-wise, uh, unless it's shifting again. It looked like it was earlier today, so it'll be a different game, a different game than what we saw today. Today was very mixed up. Not necessarily what you want to see when you're up front, because uh, it can be difficult to, to get a race like this right. Um, fortunately, it worked out for us, but I think tomorrow will be more straightforward. So qualifying will be important again. Hopefully, we can get up front and then um, run another solid race. Like I said, it's important for points, so we got to have a good day. All right, thanks a lot. We've seen a lot of you come back. Thank you. <laughs>